Welcome guys, I'm Al. I'm Arash. I'm Daniel. And this is the Call to Whiskey. All oh, hail cow. cow. Today we're talking about the Kiloman Loch Gorm 2021 edition, and we'll be comparing it to the 2020 edition. So you know what that means. It's fight night. Let's see who wins. Welcome back. So today's whiskeys are Isla Single Malt. They're non-aged Damon whiskeys, aged about five years in reality. They're both 46% ABV. They're non-chill filtered. There's no E150 added to it, so it's natural coloring. They're about 50 uh, parts per million of peat. They're aged exclusively in Oloroso Sherry casks from Jose Miguel Martin. And for more information on Kiloman, check out our review on Macra Bay to be linked somewhere around here in some direction. Let's take a pour. I'm excited. History time. Loch Gorm is Kilom's annual limited edition sherry cast release. Named after Isla's largest freshwater lake located near the distillery, the dark murky color of the loch's water is reflected in the rich copper tones of the sherry matured Loch Gorm. With only 15,500 bottles of the 2020 and 17,000 bottles of the 2021 made, this unique Isla expression is definitely worth hunting down. All right, so let's take a look on the nose. The right is 2021, the left is 2020. Let's see if there's any difference, really. I think the the big the big question is, uh, are they different at all? I want to say the peat on the 2020 is a little bit higher. Mm, it's too close to tell for me. Yeah, I I, I just a touch. Yeah, it's, it's it, just a very it, touch. It, it's not that they're so they're both peated, but it's heavier on the 2020. Now, once you let the alcohol escape mm -hmm. a little bit and you uh, start going in the layers, you're both getting that sherry note in that like campfire peat on both. No, they're, they're very similar. Mm -hmm. You had like roses. I've always loved the Loch Gorman. It's my favorite of uh, the Kiloman line. Yeah, just a little stronger than 2020. Mm -hmm. Just by a touch. Just mm -hmm. a touch. Just a touch. You had blackberries on both fudge and raisins, tobacco leaves. The tobacco leaves, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's That's the one I was nice. trying to figure mm -hmm. out what that was. And so, and you know, it's, it's almost it's like straight pipe tobacco. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like if, if you walk into a tobacco store and you just like smell the tobacco, like, yeah, real strong tobacco. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very deep. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look on the palette of the 2021. Yeah. Well, it definitely doesn't want for peat. No. There's there's definitely peat there. Oh, yes. Yeah. It, it does not want for peat at all. That's almost too much peat for me, but actually it's balanced well enough mm -hmm. with the flavor from the sherry that I don't mind it as much. And it's not super sweet, but it still has... A balance to it. If you like tobacco, yeah, that aftertaste, yeah, it's just uh, all tobacco for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get it's like smoked meats. Mm. It's like smoked meats, orange peel. You get that sea salt. You you definitely have that peat influence. Not as, not as much as some of the other ones we've tried though. Yeah, almost like a little bit of walnut. I'm gonna take a look at the 2020. Not so peaty, in comparison. The tobacco flavor is still there. This one, the 2020 had a stronger peat smell. Yeah, the, the nose was uh, was heavier I agree. on the on the 2020. The 21 though. The 2020, it, so it's sharper on the 2021. Yeah. So the peat is a little, it's like a hair sharper on the 2020. It's a duller peat on the 2020. So the 2021 is a little bit sharper, a little duller on the 2020. Yeah, still there, still very strong. Mm -hmm. But it's just kind of toned down a little bit. You get a little more of the tobacco and the mm. flavors. Leathery. Yeah. A little bit. I'm thinking of it, when, when I think of it, I think like, like it's an actual like, like feeling, right? So like the 2021, it's almost like taking a knife with the peat. Taking a knife and stabbing at it. The 2020, it's a punch. It's denser. It's the same peat. It's just the way it, it attacked your mouth. The smokiness, the tobacco is the most prominent flavor for me on this one. Mm. Totally. It's definitely peaty, mm -hmm. but it's not the peatiest uh, whiskey I've had by far. No, 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 no. But, uh, but, but the tobacco, it's, or maybe just the smoke, uh, perhaps. Uh, I don't smoke as much. Uh, mm. You tell me, Al. I think, <laughs> I think it's both, actually. Mm. Yeah? You know, it's like, uh, it's the peat and the smoke. Uh, the, I'm going to taste the 2020 one more the time. The 2021 definitely has more tobacco notes mm -hmm. uh, to it. That's it, what it, I felt. It, it definitely has more tobacco notes. Yeah, the 2021 actually has a sharper peat, mm -hmm. more tobacco. Yeah. The 2020 has kind of a milder peat, but still just at the same level, just not as sharp, mm -hmm. not yeah. as direct. Yeah. Uh, but less tobacco and a little 
a little more sweetness. Yes, uh, you're right. Uh, the 2020, on my second uh, uh, oh. round of uh, uh, drinking, mm -hmm. I have a the sherry comes out a little exactly. bit more. Exactly. Where it, it's normally the first uh, drink I had for both of them, I'll be honest, I didn't taste any sherry initially. Mm. But maybe that's just because of the strong uh, tobacco or smoke yeah. flavor it had. I definitely taste the sherry in the 2021. Um, but again, I'm more used to the smoke, so I can get you know, um, you yeah. Know, it's past just kind of buried for me. Yeah. Um, I definitely get those smoked meats, uh, black tea, uh, the dry figs that you get. Uh, I get them on both. The, uh, the, yeah. the those They're aren't very similar. The, those haven't changed at all. Um, there's still that hint of walnut on both. Oh yes, the walnut. Yeah, um, a little nuttiness to it. The the finish for both of them are medium, mm -hmm. uh, de definitely medium on both. Definitely uh, a warm peat and spice. Just just a little bit of dryness in the finish. Just just a touch. Mm -hmm. Not not compared to some of the other stuff we've had. So um, mm -hmm. I like it. Let's take so, a look. I actually so far just straight. Mm -hmm. I like the twenty twenty more. Mm -hmm. Let's try some water. Yeah, let's do it. The 2021 is still sharp even after yeah. you added water to it. Um, and, and the water didn't take away the sharpness. Not at all. No. It did dull the flavor just mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. It actually, it seems like it dropped down everything else. Yeah. And it actually raised up the peat a little bit. Yeah. Which is nice. I like that about yeah, it. Yeah, you would. <laughs> it's a little strong for me that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, more yeah. dry with water. Aftertaste. Mm, yeah, I get that. Uh, uh, in your mouth feel like mm -hmm. it's uh, it's a little bit drier. Yeah. Yes. I like the 2020 with the water. The 2020 has more sherry notes on on it when you add a little bit of water to it. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. 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 I yeah. Prefer, I would drink that. I would probably not drink that. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that the 2020 definitely has a little bit more sherry influence than the 2021. Definitely. And you know this this is very nuanced. Very. I'd say the differences between these two bottles are under 10%. It's not like it's the Glen Morangy 14 and the 12. Well, Those they, were two different very- They, they yeah. all have, they, they both have the same basic notes. Yeah. yeah. These two have a exceptionally long finish in my yeah. mouth. Yeah, they hang around. They really do. Uh, and it's not just the peat. No, no, <clears throat> I, I'm actually getting a lot more cherry notes now. Um, mm -hmm. uh, sherry notes, excuse me, not yeah. oh, cherry and sherry, I guess. But the sweetness associated to it. Yeah. Um, it's nice, it's nice, but uh, you really have to like the smokiness, uh, the tobacco, mm. uh, to really enjoy this, mm -hmm. I think. Yes, yes you do. <laughs> I've, I, you know, the 2020 is one of my favorite ones uh, that they've ever done. Uh, the 2021, again, it's uh, it's just slightly different. Uh, I'd say it's under 10% difference. Uh, I, I wouldn't go for more than 10%. So I would say they did a good job in recreating yeah. a yeah. great yeah. batch. Yeah, because yeah. you know, in the 2021 version, you know, that'll last for how long it lasts. Yeah. They'll have a big, long, long run of it. Yeah. You know? Well, uh, according to the tag, uh, we have uh, 15,500 of the 2020. 17,000. 17,000 of the. 17,000. Yeah. 7, yeah. of so 15,500. So a 17, limited 000. batch. Yeah. So, you know, get your hands on it while you can if you like mm -hmm. that smokiness and uh, tobacco flavor with a touch of cherry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is the price? Uh, there, um, so I had to buy this uh, off the U uh, from the UK. So uh, it was 60 pounds plus shipping when I bought it from the UK. So about $83 uh, plus 10. Every year, their prices range from about 85 to 160 with the average being about 100. Uh, that's awful high. Uh, yeah, for you, because you don't like peated whiskey. That's true. Um, I'd, I'd say that this is a steal. I'd, and I'd pay $100 all day long for this. This is one of my, this is absolutely my favorite uh, whiskey from Kiloman and a great Isla. How about you? I, I, I'm enjoying it, uh, but you really have to like smoky flavor. Mm. You have to like tobacco flavor. Mm. You have to have a, an appreciation of a long lasting finish and you'll have a great whiskey at that point. So what shelf would it be on? I don't know. For me, I'd put it on like third shelf. I'm not a big tobacco guy, so mm. I would put it somewhere in my second to third shelf, but the bottle is so gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> it is really yeah. pretty. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it deserves a higher elevation to show off. Yeah. So. I, I like third shelf. I, I could even see this on top shelf. I mean, if, if this is your thing. And 
Yeah. If you like, if yeah. you like Pete, yeah. if, if you I like pay one hundred sixty dollars yeah. for it, it's going on my top. <laughs> no matter what, yeah. <laughs> I'll cheers to that. Yeah. Well, on that note, our toast today is: Here's to steak and whiskey, our three favorite things. All oh, hail, hail cow. cow. Wait, three things? I thought that's two. <laughs>